Morgan, the International Association of Firefighters is really the group demanding that we do better at protecting the health of our firefighters. They say that there's actually the PFAS chemicals that are being found in firefighter turnout gear and that these quote forever chemicals are actually claiming the lives of first responders. PFAS is a danger to our firefighters and we're determined to get it, get it out of the fire scene. That is because firefighters are dying at an alarming rate. Nearly three quarters of the names that were added to the IAFF Memorial Wall of Honor, which honors those who have died in the line of duty, uh, protecting their communities, nearly three quarters of those names added last year were firefighters who, who uh, succumbed to cancer. The effort to revamp testing and create safer gear will not be an easy one. The IAFF general president will speak to the National Fire Protection Association Technical Committee on Wednesday to stress the need for change. It's going to be a big task to, to uh, you know, get, get PFAS out of the bunker gear and, and replace bunker gear with a new PFAS free bunker gear, which hasn't been developed yet. That needs to be developed. Uh, and that's why we need to get the testing correct. So we make sure that, that whatever the next generation bunker gear that comes out is actually safe for firefighters. The IAFF will be making a number of recommendations and really it all centers around perhaps changing some testing and of course ensuring that that next generation of turnout gear is PFAS free. That's one thing they really want to stress. They also say that those who have been impacted, the families of these first responders could perhaps be open to receiving financial uh, benefits due to the loss that they suffered. Reporting in Birmingham, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.